Welcome to the Blue Cast, where I, your host, True Blue, aka Alex, talk with my cast of friends about whatever we want. Today, we have Little T, aka Terrence. Hello. Double Dog, aka Chase. Hi. Cooper, with no username. Hi. <laughs> and for the first time on the podcast, Galaxy, aka Leandro. What's up, people? Before we get into the actual discussion today, uh, since last podcast, we've been hit with a 50-minute direct, and Splatoon 3, can I get a pog? Pog. Loggers. Oh, he said loggers, god damn that. Uh, <laughs> that's all that, I don't know, has anything else happened? Like, oh, Bowser's Furry came out, it's been a great time. I, I don't know. Nothing's Every, really happened in like the span of like January to February. Yeah. We got a direct. We got a Mario game. I. That's it. That's the entirety of what's happened. Very eventful. Oh, we got another sword fighter in Smash. We can't forget about that. Technically, Isn't it, uh, Pyro or Pyro, whatever her name is. Pyra and Mithra. Yeah. Kind of with tits different. and bottle with tits. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> so for this one is the Pokemon podcast. Everyone here has played Pokemon and regularly talks yeah. about Pokemon, as you know from the prior ones. So, this is going to be the first of the restructured podcast. So, I have a list of topics that they've all seen. So, we're just going to kind of go and talk about some Pokemon things. Pokemon Day is next week, next, if I'm correct off the top of my head, next Thursday, or no, next Saturday, it's next Saturday. Next Saturday's Pokemon Day, they're going to give us a couple announcements, mm-hmm. like with God knows what. So, um, how about we start off with, what do you guys hope to see on Pokemon Day? What do you hope well, to see announced or whatnot? Well, I know this is like kind of obvious, but you know, obviously the, the Sinnoh remakes. Uh, Gen 4. Yeah. Possibly Pokemon Unite. Never know. Might be coming. No. Pokemon I Unite? Pokemon. Oof. I would care to see Pokemon Unite stuff. Isn't there like, supposed to be a, uh, what is it? Uh, beta? Not beta. Like, um, yeah, no, like an open beta for Pokemon Unite. Isn't that supposed to be coming out soon? Um. I didn't know. Yeah, uh, only Canadians can do it though. Only ca- only Canadians, well, uh, Canada. Well, boys, boys, we're crossing the border. Uh, I don't know what to tell you we're crossing the I've border. I've done it once, I can do it twice. Okay, that was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. Make that very clear on this podcast, that was a bet. <laughs> uh, so, if we do get a Gen 4 remake, what would you want to see added to Gen 4? Um, I don't... Okay, well, this is more of a thing I don't want to be added. Well, actually, no. I want on um, the following feature, actually. Okay. And, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like, the newest things that I like. Oh, I was actually talking about this a while ago, but you know how in, like, uh, like Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, they had, like, when, like, when you entered, like, Ice path or like national park. There was like a like a water. I think it was like a water color thing that like showed up. Mhm. Oh yeah, you did when talk you about actually that. Actually, I, I want that. Like I want that. Back. That was I really like. Uh-huh. I don't think it's small, but like I don't know. I like it. Mhm. I wouldn't be so. I mean, it, it, it's understandable for why to want something like that back, but knowing Game Freak, God knows what, what they're gonna give us. Yeah. What about the rest of you? Is, is there anything in particular particular that you'd like to see added to Gen 4 remakes that wasn't in the original Gen 4 games? Speed. What was that, Chase? Speed. True! <laughs> oh, if that game didn't feel like a grandpa walking, I feel like, I think a lot more people would enjoy it. Whew. The game's slow as hell. You just angered a lot of people with that sentence. It's true. Listen, it's, it is, listen, I will die on this hill that Diamonds of Pearl are slow-ass games. 
they take. They are. Have you seen? Listen, sit and surf on that game for more than five minutes and tell me you're enjoying yourself, and then come to, back and talk to me, okay? I haven't played either, so I couldn't really input on this combo. <laughs> Listen, for context, it takes a million years to freaking surf in Diamond and Pearl because it's just so freaking slow. It does take quite long. Oh. I'll, I'll take your word for it. Maybe in the remake they'll make it better. They probably will. And, well, the remakes I feel like are guaranteed to be easier, so that means less people are going to have PTSD from Cynthia's theme. Better graphics. I can't wait to see more N64 trees. Mm. I actually, I mean, to be fair, like, uh, just like the general geography of Sinnoh is like really blocky compared to like Galar, which is, you know, a lot more open. So I'm kind of like curious how they're going to like make like, that look. Yeah. So one thing that's been floating around is they're going to turn the mining system where you can go dig fossils and shit. They're going to turn that into a wild area of sorts. I hope they don't. No. I hope not either. I'm like honestly, I hope they don't I really hope they don't bring Dynamax into Sinnoh. I'm sorry. I just no. I really hope they don't bring Dynamax back either. But I'm talking about the wild areas in particular. Would you like to see that added to Sinnoh? I would like to see it. I I guess in a way, maybe. Um it depends. I mean, the wild areas in Sword and Shield look, look kind of dead to me. I don't know. Yeah, they look kind of like. I mean, there like is a Savari Zone area that they have to get rid of, so I mean. Because, you know, they're not going to implement a new Safari Zone because they don't do that anymore. You don't yeah. take Safari Zones here. No Safari Zones here, no Siri Bob. I wouldn't be uh, too surprised if they restructured Sinnoh a bit so they can include massive open areas now. But if it, if it does come out within Gen 8, I wouldn't be surprised if we did get Dynamax back and I would be very upset because Mega Evolution's better. Exactly. Just is. The world would be a better place if we got Mega Evolutions, just saying. Tell me why Crown Tundra adds back almost every Pokemon like Mega Evolve, but they don't add back Mega Evolution to Sword and Shield. Just saying. We don't talk with fun. What if you could Mega Evolve as you Dynamax? Like you Dynamax and then you first see I can't wait to see a shiny Gigantamax Mega Charizard Y. To be honest, I feel like Charizard is the most underrated Pokemon of them all. Terrence, oh, yeah. I'm gonna kick you from this call. I'm gonna, like I'm really like going to. Oh, God. Charizard game. God, you're telling me? I'm surprised he didn't get like eight Z moves. Freaking, oh, let me just give him uh, two Megas. The first, give him a Gigantamax form in the base game instead of the DLC like the rest for no apparent reason. Ugh. Oh. Acute pressure. No, we don't need to talk. This isn't the haunting story section of the podcast. We can save that. Um, <laughs> do you want to give me PTSD? <laughs> you can share the story. Well, Terrence knows the story, so he can he can share if he wants yeah, to give me PTSD. It should. You want me to? I can say uh, I can say a single word: Pinchurchin. No, tell the story. <laughs> tell the freaking story. Okay, so me. And Alex are chilling in the Dynamax Adventures. We run across a Pinchurchin raid. Or it was some kind of raid, and there was Pinchurchin. And all it used is act pressure and didn't help at all. And so, now whenever Alex sees anything use act pressure, especially Pinchurchin, he gets PTSD. For context, uh, we found a Pinchurchin, the computer took it, and the entire game, the entire adventure, Every round was freaking acupressure. Never have too much acupressure. I want to shine you through Pinchurchin now. <laughs> Pinchurchin with acupressure? I will say, yeah. uh, between the two DLCs, Crown Tundra is my preferred. Definitely. Isle of Armor was kind of yeah. ass, not gonna lie. Kind of ass. I felt like Crown Tundra had more to deliver than... Isle of Armor, I feel like Isle of Armor was more hyped up. 
but in the end, didn't really deliver. Well, what we'll what see. Just just hope for. Base game. I'm okay with Crown Tundra being DLC. I'm not okay with File of Arm being DLC. I don't know what it was. Maybe it's just I felt it was a bit weird having Cub Fu forced onto you just to evolve into a Pokemon you're probably not gonna use. And then yeah. tell me why like all the returning Pokemon were kind of bad in all honesty. I didn't feel like there's any two solid ones in Isle of Armor that you're like, yeah, let's go, that guy. <laughs> they brought back like all the pseudos in the second DLC. So. Yeah, I, I freaking Crown Tundra. They gave us so many good returning ones and roaming Ammonites. I feel like Isle of Armor is also really short. It is. It, it feels much shorter. Yeah. If you know what you're doing, it takes it takes around the same amount of time, but like it's just it just feels shorter because it's a lot more linear in Isle of Armor, I guess. Because Crown yeah. Tantra is a lot more open since you have to travel to everywhere else something. to get the birds and whatnot. So yeah, there's some stuff that for Isle of Armor. The only downside, in my opinion. The only thing um, Isle of Armor did better, in my opinion, is uh, Slowpoke's evolution, because Slowbro looks and it's just so much better to Slow King. Galarian version, I mean. Definitely. Oh, uh, yes, Shell goes completely overhead and now becomes my eyeballs. I'm sorry, Galarian Slowbro's freaking signature move. Terrence can tell you that that thing is busted, because of how many times I was able to clap his. Pokemon with my slow bro. Too much. Too much. Hey, you wanna talk about Ellie? Hey, you wanna talk about Ellie, Terrence? <laughs> no. I refuse. What's wrong with Elder Gods? I don't know what you're talking about, man. For context, yesterday um yesterday we had a Pokemon battle. And for even more context, a lot of our Pokemon are nicknamed. So some of them so, for example, my Eldegoss is named Ellie, and then some of his Pokemon have nicknames too, and we talk about them all the time jokingly because we love our Pokemon. For example, our Snorlaxes, smalls in all capital letters and a Z at the end. So, so if you're supposed to read it out loud, you're supposed to say smalls! Um, and Carlos. Just Carlos. Just Carlos. What, 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 what Pokemon is Carlos? They're both Snorlax. Oh, they're uh, both. Oh, they're both. So t we were. This is from Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. We were trying to get a Munchlax. Darren's bred too, and we both used them uh, post game to help us get a ton of Pokemon. We just got Smalls and Carlos. Chocolate yeah. bar. I had a Pokemon, ball Pokemon battle with Darren too yesterday. Did he clap you with Randall? Yes. <laughs> he did. Uh, my uh, wasn't isn't Randall's the uh, your toxicity, right? No, that's, no, that's Box uh, Boom. Boom Boombox oh. actually wrecked, uh, wrecked his team. Yeah, it was Boombox. My my team was not built to go against um electric types. Electric types. I did I did I, I believe it one shot Randall though. Randall was Yeah, Randall, Randall just kinda of died. He won the first said, battle, but we did one um where he used his low end team and I beat him in that one. Ended in a draw. I'm gonna say this here now, since we're still early in the video, so people will probably get to this point. If you would like to see me or my friends, because I know they would gladly love to talk about their Pokemon, uh, if you would like to see our teams or any Pokemon in particular, because we have stories and we're all very childish when it comes to Pokemon, so we have like personalities and shit for them, because yeah. that's how we are. Yeah. So if you'd like to hear anything about our Pokemon, specifically from these guys, because I definitely will end up doing this at some point. But if you want to hear from, like, Terrence or Cooper, uh, comment down below or like the video. And for context, Terrence is in Talion is named Randall after that meme that was floating around of um, Randall from Monster Inc. being what was in Talion or whatever. Lizard. Yeah. Lizard. It pains me that that's the name origin. It really does. Especially since I can no longer look at Monsters Inc. the same thanks to Terrence. It's <laughs> just a deli on just sitting there. So, we were talking about Galarian forms a bit. So what about regional forms? What would you like to see? What what new things could you add? Like, what is there a Pokemon you'd like to get a regional form? Is there new evolutions 
for like a sir fetched and a when he's in Kanto or something like what would you like to see when it comes to regional forms? Smurgle that's regional in, forms. That's an interesting um, yes concept actually. Um, at least for me, um, I don't really have a specific Pokemon in mind that I would like to get a regional form. But I would say that, like, I feel like when it comes to regional forms, I feel like Dino will have like, a lot of, like, ice and, like, ground and rock type, like, Pokemon or, like, 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 not like, that, like, turn into, like, brown or, like, ice types, but because, like, of the place, you know, you know, and how it's, like, more like a mountain y like, snowy area, I don't know. Oh, you're thinking of, like, regional forms for Sinnoh? Yeah, like, 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 the types that we'll, like, we'll get for regional. Is there any Pokemon from Sinnoh you would like to see get a regional form? Like, the starters, um, which I doubt would happen, but, like... like I feel like Real. Luxray would be cool. Luxray? Ooh, fan favorite right there. The, 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 the Riolu line. Mm, the Lucario. Um, Starter, what else? maybe. Odd choice, but I would like to see a Spartan form. That'd be cool. That could work. Maybe the starters, like they get a different um, type. It's just weird. It's weird, like, like, weird like to say, but like, I, I, hope, I feel like Venera would be kind of cool to see, too. Oh, the furry, huh? Oh. No, not, not like... I like Mary, I think it, it's a cute one. Yeah, and a lot of people like Lopunny, and we don't talk about that one. I don't- I didn't say Lopunny, I said Benary. Okay, I heard so many likes in the past two minutes to get me through middle school again. Um, <laughs> uh, what else, though? Is there anyone else that has, uh... How about you, Terrence? Is there any Pokemon you want to see get a regional form just like out of anyone? Um, probably, like I said, Spiritomb before, um, maybe Dudene? Oh, <laughs> the small rodent. <laughs> the other electric rat. What about you, Leandro? Uh, same answer as before, maybe like the starters, give them a new type, give it a new twist on how you can play them and how viable they'd be in the gameplay. I really um, do. Let's get more There's fire fighting types, now. how does that sound? <laughs> Boy, because we don't have enough of those. Blaziken, but again. What about you, Chase? Been awfully quiet, any regional forms you want to see? Bruh, um... I don't know, like, maybe like a Tsuhudo? Because, um, well, I mean, I'm saying, just like, just kind of crap. Maybe, well, well, maybe they did. I want to see a birch tree pseudo Udo. <laughs> <laughs> what about Smurgle, regional form? Smurgle? Uh, it's perfect the way it is. Sm okay, I, that's, uh, I think that's a perfect time to talk about Pokemon pronunciations, because that's a. Yeah. Uh, Smurgle, Smurgle. Smurgle. Hold on. Oh. Chase is very... <laughs> Chase is very upset with that pronunciation. <laughs> you pronounce it Smurgle, right? How do you pronounce the god Pokemon? I must hear it. How does everyone here pronounce the god Pokemon? Arceus. Arceus. Chase? Arceus. <laughs> <laughs> It's what? It's your I look at I just you know. No, how do you pronounce uh Arceus Arceus? How do you pronounce it? It's Arceus. I pronounce it Arceus. I'm pretty no, sure they, they I'm pretty sure they the real god it because Pokemon. that's because that's like Fort obviously means ass and arse. So, <laughs> okay, what about um uh what what about the poke the box art Pokemon from Pokemon Y? How do you pronounce him? Zergmius? The other one. He legit said oh, Y. I, I, I said <laughs> I, Y. I, I, uh, Yvelto. Yeah, I say Yvelto. Yvelto. Chase, how do you pronounce him? Yvelto. Yvelto. 
I, I also <laughs> pronounce Yavel Tall. <laughs> Isn't um. Yes, that's a reference. Like that's a reference to a yeah. YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm I would say, let me throw a link in the description, but if you're somehow watching me, you've definitely watched his content. So! <laughs> somehow, some way, some shape or form. How about, you know, let, let's talk about, it's a bit random for everything to talk about, let's talk about Pokemon Smile. Mm, uh, yes. <laughs> Brush until your gums bleed. So, uh, yeah. what, has anyone played Pokemon Smile? I have not. I have. I didn't, I didn't know it was out. <laughs> How's Pokemon Smile, Terrence? Uh, very good. Uh, you know, my gums are have been bleeding ever since then. <laughs> Gotta brush them all. So when are we getting Pokemon Smile Switch? That's all I'm asking. <laughs> the pain. Honestly. Move the switch back and forth to scrub your teeth. Damn. Okay, all joking aside, uh, Pokemon Mobile games. What are your thoughts on the various Pokemon Mobile games that have been released over the years? Pokemon Cafe. I haven't, all right. I haven't right. really played many of them. Like I played Magikarp Jump for like a while, but like oh, that's a really old one. <laughs> Masters is the best one. Oh, Pokemon Master I've Sex. I've never played Masters. Yes, it's, I probably should. Pokemon, like, I haven't, Pokemon I Cafe. Phase where it's like you connect them all together and whatnot, or is that different? I would say I would say I like Cafe Mix, but after Shuffle. the old school Pokemon Wibble Wobble, not Pokemon Yokai. Holy Wibble shit, I messed Wobble. that up big time. Yokai Watch Wibble Wobble. That was an amazing game, which to all you foreigners is Yokai Watch. Was it Puni Puni or some shit? Yes. Yeah, Terrence knows what I'm talking about. Uh, Pokemon it's it's Wibble 20 Wibble. times better, and it gives me Pokemon, playing Pokemon Cafe mix, it gives me Yokai Watch with Wobble vibes, which is the only reason why I dislike it. Not because I dislike Yokai Watch, but because I love that. I wish that game was still around. Did you, yeah. did you say 20 times or Tony? I heard Tony. Tony, yeah, I said Tony. Let's go, Tony. Oh, all right. Yo, Tony. I was on a trip for a second, like... We're talking about Tony, but what about Tanner? That's the real question. Oh, uh, back to our one of our Pokemon. This is Terrence's Tangrowth named Tanner. That we yesterday he Terrence used him oh and I murdered God. him. And uh, all of these yeah. can uh can um attest to the fact that we sat here and we were like Tanner's dead, I can't believe it. Just for us <laughs> just for Terrence to come out and say after we did this bit for like ten minutes, Terrence was like, Don't worry, I healed him. He's in the he's at the Pokemon Center right now. I was uh, so we were concerned. About a real person. Oh my god, because I thought, I thought someone actually died. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, Terrence. No, it's just his Pokemon. You don't know how much My dog bit its ankles, like, so uh, my my bad, my bad. You don't know how much I started laughing when I see it's okay, I brought him to the Poke Center. It was just... It was too much. Too much at one time. I heard Chase wow. mention this uh, briefly, but Pokemon Shuffle? Yes, good one. Godsend of a mobile game. Absolute godsend. It's on the 3DS as well. Absolute godsend of a Pokemon game. If that, if they would decide to make a sequel on Switch, I don't think I would complain. Mm. But, what, but there are some games that truly do deserve sequels, like Poke Park. Yeah. I would love to see a Poke Park 3. I would, I would pay big money for that. Mm -hmm. What? Well, quick question: What region do you think the next Pokemon game would be set in? Like what type of region? Yeah, like where? Where would you think they base it off of? Um, uh, a hard maybe, one. Maybe like South America. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Bro, or can like yo? Italy? Can it be a uh, Brazil? <laughs> and just like what, freaking right? party, bro. Oh, I want to see um, they, 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 a new like a new York, version like, of Ludicolo America, that's just so. always vibing. <laughs> Crosses the Mexican border. I think France would be interesting. They already did. They already did France. That was Carlos. Like yeah. France, but again, I want to see a croissant. 
I want to catch a croissant and throw it into battle. Yes. I want to catch one just so I can drop it and then laugh as everyone walks away in anger as they get the reference. You made me yeah. drop my croissant. My croissant. Laugh. <laughs> Not funny. Didn't laugh. So. Wait, what if there's like a, or like a regional Cresselia variant where it's just all croissants? <laughs> That's oh, I, <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh. So, what do you think is more likely? Gen 4 remakes that are main series, they play the same. Let's go Gen 4 remakes. Let's go Johto oh, or Generation 9. Um, Gen 4 remakes. Definitely. Let's go Why Gen 4 remakes. I'm gonna be honest. That don't. Oh, let, let's go. Let's go. Jodo would be kind of interesting. I love Jodo. I would like that, but I, I just don't think they do it simply because the whole reason they did Let's Go with Pikachu and Eevee is because, well, it's it's Kanto and. Yeah, but and they also wanted to get like Pokemon. The green Pokemon thing in your wallet like, is the reasoning. Like Pokemon main games, like that was like, <laughs> just, like transfer to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Which one did you guys pick? Let's go Pikachu think, or let's go uh, Eevee. Let's go Eevee. Eevee. Pikachu. Chase, how about you? I didn't, I don't have it. Ah, for well, sure. I, I picked Eevee. Mind you, I would have picked Eevee, but me and Terrence always uh, split so we can the complete bits. the decks. Yeah. So I got Pikachu. I do have a Zoe, but we don't, I don't, like, we don't really do it just complete the decks. We just do it to like... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, ever since away. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, me and Terrence have completed every deck together. And when I tell cool. you the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon decks was an absolute pain in the ass, <laughs> it, w it was fine. It wasn't that bad. But once it got to like the last like four Pokemon, ugh. Not fun. I have yet to complete one deck. So. Bro, it takes only 150 yeah. and freaking let's go. It's not hard. <laughs> then if you want Mew, Meltan, and Melmetal. Not I think Zoe has Melmetal. I'm not quite sure though. Every single one of- if you play Pokemon Go, you can get a free Melmetal. Meltan Church? I have a bunch of Melmetals. Terrence, have we ever told the story of Meltan Yang? Uh, no. <laughs> Terrence, I I I'll, I'll let you do the honors. <clears throat> to be honest, I, I don't even remember how it went. Okay, so... Just, just, just somehow it came up. So, Terrence... Like, you know, funny. Terrence, uh, you know, every once in a while, he would play Roblox back in the day. And I didn't give a shit about mm -hmm. Roblox, and I started playing because of him. Like, when he would play, I didn't care. Then, one day, we were playing on a Pokemon server. We both became Meltan, and one we went from one joke to the other, and it just led to a Meltan joke, where we were uh, a gang on the <laughs> server. So we went around saying Meltan gang, and saying join the cause, and random shit like that. Uh, join the cause. And there, there were multiple times where we got everyone who wasn't part of the gang to leave the server, so it's just me, Terrence, whoever was, was going with the joke, and we were chilling there. <clears throat> and now, ever since, there, uh, there's Meltan Gang. If you want to join Meltan Gang, like, comment, and subscribe, and your application will be sent to the Meltan Gang boss. I'm so upset right now. Just switch Vicavolt for a DNA. The pain I feel is immeasurable. I'm trying to get my pedal only Marigold and Pokemon White do right now. We're doing this podcast. I'm in the middle of a max raid battle right now. But so, adventure, if you a lot of older Pokemon games are known for their post-game content, like Battle Factories mm -hmm. and whatnot. If we do get a Gen 4 remake, what post-game content would you like to see that wasn't in the original? <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this, but I didn't care about the Battle Frontier. Why? I mean, obviously, like, I wasn't happy that they got rid of it in, like, Oras and whatnot. Obviously, they should have like, kept it, but... Because, like, Oras didn't, like, have, like, anything. Well, they, yeah. did, they did have something, but it wasn't, like, as good. 
In Oraz, we did get it. We get, did get the Delta episode of a free Deoxys. So, that's true. No, if we that's were true. to get some form of Delta episode, God, God knows what it's called, but I'm just going to refer to it as a Delta episode. If we were to get one, what would you like it to be about? Well, I'm going to guess Arceus and Garakina. Yeah. It'd be Garakina. nice if we could throw in maybe Darkrai or Shaman or one of the guys you can't really get easily. Yeah. That would be cool. Sure. She Shiny Volcanion. No. <laughs> His colored donut. It looks like a whole clown party in one Pokemon. So you, you you mentioned shinies. So I got a question for everyone: Is is there any shinies that you would look at and you're like, that's my favorite shiny? Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Like Friny, Friny Fracture. Shiny, shiny. God, Friny. Shiny Fracture looks dope. I think, I think I like My favorite would either I be honestly... Black Shiny Charizard or Shiny Giggle. I don't really have. Okay. This is kind of weird, but I really like shinies when they're like when they're grass types, but like they're shiny is like to make it look like like they're like autumn leaves. Mm -hmm. I think it's like I think Chikoritas is like that, where like they like change your tint to like an orange one. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, I think my favorite oh, shiny Garchomp. Like that. <laughs> that was it. That's a that's a great Respect. choice. Respect. It's not Silver actually, but. Yeah. Uh, and for some reason, they decided, let me change the shiny of, like, Combuskin and some others in uh, uh, Crown Tundra. But, you know, let's leave Garchomp. At Mud least Gengar finally is white. Mudkip be pink. Mudkip do be pink, though. But Garchomp still be looking the exact same. <laughs> Garchomp the exact same. Just saying, if you're in a Dynamax adventure, if you're shiny hunting a Dynamax adventures, always look... For if the Pokemon is blue or green, that is, listen, <laughs> life advice for any shiny hunters. If it, if it looks a bit more blue or green, it's probably shiny. If it's not blue or green, I think something's wrong with your game. Like, uh, <laughs> like if you see like a pink Mudkip, throw it away. No, not necessary. That's but if you find a green Mudkip. <laughs> <laughs> that you catch. Hacks the game just for green Mudkip. Isn't, um, I think it's Poplio's shiny that it's like a slightly darker tin. Um, Isn't Poplio yeah. pink though? No, Poplio's not pink. Poplio pink? Poplio, I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah, it's just like a shade off. It's yeah, like, it is like, what color is it? Oh, what color is, um, yeah. It is. Holy shit, that looks the same. I just Googled <laughs> it. Holy shit. <laughs> it becomes like a darker blue. Is Primarina different or is it just Poplio? Primarina is oh, Primarina. different. Poplio looks the exact same. Yeah. Hey, 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 Terrence, what's the nickname of your shiny um, Incineroar? I would love to hear the name of it. <laughs> Garfield. And how long did it take for you to get Garfield? Uh, like. I don't know, five hours? He meant 500 for context. Mm -hmm. um, There's a typo Maybe on his part. Box, boxes oh, upon God. boxes of Littons. I have, I have a lot of Littons in Pokemon Home. Bro, just release them. them. <laughs> I could, but I don't feel like it. Take it takes two seconds. Give, take all the loot and, and give them the boot. So, um, if we, so, uh, Pokemon anime, has anyone been keeping up with Pokemon Journeys? Nope. Uh, Haven't even no, searched it. Not. It is on Netflix, so all of you have Netflix, you can watch Pokemon Journeys, the current you, iteration of the Pokemon how anime. Have, how do you know we all have Netflix? I'm, no, I'm saying just in general for, like, the viewers watching, they can check it out on Netflix. Not sponsored. I have a question. Not sponsored by Netflix in any way. Huh? That'd be dope. Just get sponsored um, by Netflix. So I'm at the name writer right now, and I need a good name to name my herdier. 
irritier. Um, it's a female, by the way, but... Uh, loyal dog. It's gonna be like a dog name. Loyal dog. Okay, well, a dog yeah. name? Dog. Uh, what gender is it again? Female. Chase at. Oh, no. Name it Iggy. I'm kidding, Chase. I'm not naming it Iggy. I'm not naming it Iggy. What about Beck? Not naming the JoJo reference. Have Iggy a thought Name it Little T. I'm not naming it. <laughs> um. Follow G's to you as well, Terrence. I see opportunity I take. It's fine. It's but a joke. Tis but a little ha ha. Honestly, I looked up some female dog names and these are pretty generic. Actually. Oh, a female Hello. dog name. I know. <laughs> no. Plenty no, of those I here. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Name it Karen. <laughs> not naming it Karen. Absolutely not. Name it Karen. Oh, Karen. I bet you that her wants to speak to someone's manager. Name it Auntie Bex. Ew. No. <laughs> I have a crowbat named Karen. Why? Terrence, oh, you should name that Jolteon Ant. Anti is because it's been struck with food poisoning, that's why it's green. Let me look, let me look on. No wonder, I can really oh. release it. <laughs> it's probably sick. It's probably hurting. Put it out of its misery. Might have to. I mean, no, it is a shiny because it is green, so. I'm looking on, uh, I looked on Google and. There was a Reddit post asking for like name suggestions, and someone said, <clears throat> them, "Someone said name your herdier Granny." I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> name your herdier Sadie after my Granny's Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> so while we've all had many discussions before on fav random favorite things from Pokemon, uh, you know, the people viewing this have not heard those conversations. So why don't we uh, talk about some of those? What is everyone's favorite Pokemon? I'm gonna go down the list here. So, uh, Chase, start us off. What's your favorite Pokemon? Trapinch. Trapinch? Good choice. Leandro? Charmander. 24 7. All uh, for all those who just viewed this, he's not a Gen 1 -er. He just grew up liking Charmander. Do not attack him. <laughs> I say Gen 1. Leave me alone. I, I know it's a struggle to use Charmander. I still use him anyways. <sighs> Cooper, what's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, okay, this is really putting me on the spot. Um, I don't really have a favorite that changes a lot, but if I had to pick one oh, right now, Jerry. I'd probably go with Galarian Rapid. Galarian Rapidash. Strong choice. Terrence. Wrong and choice. Wrong choice. <laughs> Alex about to say, I really know what he was going to say. Terrence, you gotta pick one. Which one? I already said it. <laughs> Couldn't hear you over <laughs> everyone else. Say it again. Send a quill. And my favorite is my precious boyo that does not say poyo. Tepig. Wait, I actually want to change my answer. I named Go Tepig ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Cooper. Um, Snivy. Snivy? Snivy Great guy. choice. Yeah. Alex, if you'd like to know, I named my pimp knight after you, so. Your pig knight? Yeah. Yeah, your swag knight. Swag knight. <laughs> so what about this? What is your favorite spin-off series? Not game, but series of Pokemon. So like Mystery Dungeon, Conquest, Dash, whatever. I'm gonna have to skip this, I'm gonna have to skip this question. Okay, so game. Chase, you already said Mystery Dungeon. Mystery Dungeon. Yep. Which one in particular? Uh, um, I really love Super, but I but and I know this is going to be kind of like a generic answer, but Explorers of the Sky. They're good games. <laughs> I know. Cooper, what about you? Um, I um what was the question again? Sorry. What's your favorite spin-off series of Pokemon? My favorite spin-off series. So like Mystery Dungeon, uh, Ranger, Poke Park, or any of those other spin-offs? I guess 
Hogan, not Hogan tournament. We're going Battle Revolution. Let's see, dude. I don't know. I don't like it. Battle Revolution of all the choices. <laughs> well, I, I, haven't, I haven't played many of them, so I don't know. Understandable. I just remember playing that. If you were to, uh, so I feel like you would be a fan of like the Pokemon Stadium games then, if given an opportunity to play. Most well, probably, I don't know. Okay. Is Pokemon Snap a spinoff or is that? That's a spinoff, yes. Yeah. Oh, I hella love Pokemon Snap. Like I played it on the 64. Also, I played Ranger on the DS. I lied about that. I didn't. Okay, I well then. So, is your favorite Ranger or Snap? Snap, Snap all the way. Guessing you're gonna buy new Pokemon Snap when that comes out. Absolutely. Like it looks amazing. I'm gonna buy that too. It looks really good. It does. Terrence, what's your favorite spinoff? Uh, Poke Park. Which one? And why is it Poke Park 2? Because it has Tepic. <laughs> I mean, Poke Park, I don't know why, but I just love the Poke Park games. Maybe it's because they were some of the first ones I played other than Heart Gold. I have to say Poke Park 2 would be my all-time favorite because I play that a ton. But Pokemon Conquest, it was it was a, like a one-shot spinoff on the DS, but my god, was that a fun game. <clears throat> Tactical RPG, awesome. but you know, it's Pokemon. Gotta love it. Optimal. 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 Okay, so the, here, here's the uh, the thing everyone's coming here for. What's your favorite generation? And tell me why the comments are going to be upset at you. Chase. Uh, mm, people are going to be very mad. Gen 6. I it's think Gen 6. 6 is like like people like it you know i don't think that's gonna they, be controversial x and y why do you think people be upset over x and y um just because it has uh, for well, ninja the story, plot is just, the story and plot is incomplete um as the small stacks um it should have gone the third version just because of how incomplete everything was the rivals and characters were just not that great x y and z and it was easy Okay, Leandro, what's your favorite gen? Um, five. That's an amazing choice. I agree. Like, honestly, I agree with yeah. you a hundred percent, but it's not my turn to honestly, speak. Honestly, yeah, I pick five. What about you, Cooper? Gen five sounds easy. Okay. At least I. At least there's still a reason for our friendship. Okay, Terrence. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Taking shots. <laughs> do you say? Do you say Gen two? Yes. It does have his favorite Pokemon in the club. It's also well, technically his favorite game is a Gen four game in the form of Heart Gold, but if he had access, he'd probably still enjoy the original Gen two. I have Pokemon Crystal on the 3DS though. I'm working on it. Yeah. Okay, the, there you go, there you go. My favorite's also Gen 5 because that was my first main series Pokemon game. And I played that shit to hell and back. White 2, oh, the amount of hours I have on that game. This is the one Pokemon game I can remember exactly when I got it. And like, I played it for hours. And no sleep. So now I, I'm going to ask what's your least favorite generation? But I know most of you probably don't really dislike a generation, but if you were to say which one you enjoyed the least, which one would it be? That's basically what I'm asking when I say least favorite, because I know it's not most of you don't really have any real form of dislike towards Pokemon. No, not yeah. Really. So yeah. Chase, which one did you enjoy the least? Uh generation one. Gen 1? Um, yeah. Uh, I know that may be a bit, like, harsh, just because I love it. It was, it was the first gen. And it was, like, the, it was like, the, like, that was, like, the first Pokemon game. The first Pokemon games, but, like, I don't know. Just, they, they just seem, like, they're just really boring. I don't know. There's, like, just not really a whole lot to No, do. it's understandable, though, because, you know, it is the first, so it makes sense. You gotta start from somewhere. True. What about you, Leandro? Which one did you enjoy the least? I might get crap for this, but I say seven 
only because mm-hmm. how happy everyone is and the everyone always like Alola just got to me. That's the one thing I disliked about it. That is all. That is a common criticism with Gen with Generation Seven as a whole. How happy everything is. Like being happy is fine. It's just repetitively saying Alola is just I I couldn't. It's too much for me. Cooper, what about you? Which one did you enjoy the least? Um, probably Gen 6. Damn, okay. I don't know. I wasn't a big <laughs> fan of, like, the change, like, to 3D. And I feel like most of Pokemon kind of look dead. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's true, though. And I, and I feel like, I don't know, like, like, the story wasn't really, like, didn't really capture my attention. Like, I, like I, and I, I'm sorry, but I despise Team Flare. You don't like Six Team Flare? Six I animations did look good, though. I don't know, just like... Lysander was cool. But like, I don't know. I feel like... Team they didn't come off as like, threatening to you? Yeah, they didn't come off as like, really big threat. Like, Team Plasma had like... Like, 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 like... It made you think, you know? Like, is it really okay for like, humans to be like... You know? Yeah. Even Pokemon against their will, but like, and like Team Rocket is kind of just like original, like, and I was like, what's that? Because like, we're both bad guys, but like, I Team Magma and Aqua like, actually did shit, yeah. so. It's not, it's not bad, <laughs> yeah. as, it's not, it's not as bad as Team Yell, though. I'm like, I never really understood the point. <laughs> Team, like, Team yeah. Yell, they're, they're a bunch of simps, so I respect it. They're special. We'll leave it I at mean, that. I mean, they're, they're like, they're, they're all right, but like, I kind of want an evil team that like, does something. Would you compare Gen 6 Team Flare to main series anime Team Rocket? Um, what do you mean by that? Like just Jesse and James, like not the whole organization, but how Jesse and James always just end up. Would you compare it to that? Like how underwhelming you feel about it? Or? I think I like Jesse and James though. <laughs> Um, I don't miss how they... your question. He's basically saying, do you see them as like not threatening as Team Rocket is in the anime? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> the um, cogs are turning now. Do I see them as Because again, Team Rocket doesn't do jack shit, it's just Jesse and James the whole time, so it's like, is that how you yeah. view Team Flare? Okay. Yeah, I guess in a, I guess kind of in a way, but like I like Team, Mo- I like like Jesse and James. I don't like the most. The most threatening thing Jesse and James do is cross dressing. That's about it. I mean, they do it well. They attempt- yeah, they, they do. do it well though. They do. So. Terrence, what's your there. least enjoyed generation? Hot <clears throat> take: Generation Four. Oh, your favorites. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Me and Terrence have had long conversations, but we both agree that Generation 4, not as a whole, but specifically the Sinnoh games, are our least favorites because of speed and speed. It's just too damn slow. <laughs> Ka-chow, I guess. <laughs> and this is a very hot take, but I enjoyed Gen 1 a lot more than I did a couple of the other ones, which are very popular. I can barely remember playing Gen 1. So we're talking so much about Gen 4, but there's still another uh, thing everyone's talking about. It's Generation 9. We've already had Pokemon Sword and Shield for two years since the DLC ate up a Pokemon year. Well, for releases, I mean. So is there anything you really hope to see in the next wave of Pokemon? Elite 4. (laughs) Uh, An actual Elite 4 would be nice. Yeah, it gives something some some extra precaution to look forward to after you get all the badges. If there's badges, I don't know. Um, a lot more polish. Forms, Forms and polish. Yeah. What do you mean polish? Like cleaner looking? Yes. I mean, no, they're don't worry, like uh, sword and shield as a whole look good, but they're yeah. like just they're just like some areas like force wild area that didn't look good like at all after this conversation we should talk about the walking animations 
<laughs> the whole walking animations thing, all the whole animations thing that went down with Sword and Shield when released was who? Reggie Gigas slowly approaching. May I just say w- one thing? Really, why can't you? It's really dumb how they went about how you, Pokemon can follow you in Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra, but not the base game. Yeah. Especially I since like... it's like, if you can implement DLC, why can't you just add that to the original? I don't. Yeah. yeah. I say they should at least just, once it released, they should bring it over into the original, like, main part of the story, but nah. I would genuinely, I would genuinely be surprised if we did not get some form of Pokemon following you in the following, like, games, if it be Gen 9 or Gen 4 remakes. Because it's if just. Did it, what if for Gen 9 they did it like how they did a Let's Go? How you can fly on the back of some Pokemon or ride some Pokemon? The only. I would agree with you, but the only reason I think Let's Go did that is because they only had in total 153. Yeah. So, because Gen 4, you're going to have the entirety of Generation 4 plus various Pokemon plus, I would expect, Generation 8. So. You know, that's a lot more Pokemon, and a lot of them you could potentially ride, so I, could, I just don't think they would implement riding Pokemon like they did in Let's Go. Yeah, it would be probably, cool. probably it, It'd be cool, but it'd probably take a lot longer than when they plan to release it. Yeah. If, I mean, if they don't want to even give us every Pokemon, I don't see them giving us select ones with extra functionality. Yeah. Flying on the back of Charizard do be dope, though. Foosh. It would be dope if you could ride on, you know, other Pokemon, but most of them aren't even in Sword and Shield, so. Bro, let's ride on the back of Dunsparce. Probably kill it. Or as where you could ride on Latios and Latios. That was fun. Sword was really fun. Mid-flight transforms into woman. Excuse me? <laughs> making a reference to the movie. Okay. Oh, 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 I was oh. very confused as you say. <laughs> <laughs> I got it now, it was, but it was it was one of our it was one of our group uh, one of our personal group jokes and also a Pokemon joke at the same time. So I'm like, eh, why not? And so Pokemon, we got the Dynamax Adventures, which in my opinion are really fun. But is there any other online modes you guys would like to see? Mini game. Mini games would be. Mini games would be appreciated. What kind of mini games? Voltor. Mini game, the Voltor mini game. Absolutely. No. No. Voltor flipped online. Hell no. Screw Voltor flip. You know how many times I had to play that to get that jam, that damn Dratini and Heart Gold. Ugh. I hate Voltor flip. This is why I go to the place right next to Claire's uh, gym. That's at the end of the dude. That's at the end of Johto, bro. <laughs> exactly. End of the game, <laughs> bro. No, no, no. We get a Dratini man, early. Man just goes to Victory Road to grind it out just to get that Dragonite. For the, it's better than game. getting. A, it's better than getting a Pubitar and. Um, you know how over leveled you have to get a Dragon there to evolve into Dragonite for the League in Gen two. League and. Well, that's just like a lot of pseudo legendaries in general, especially like Unova. Like, oh, oh, let's not talk about level 64 over there. Oh my god. Hyd- I thought Hydreigon was really cool. No, it's no, cool. No, it's fine, Pokemon. Extremely but... stupid. No, how but I'm not saying that you should. Uh, I'm saying that it's cool. But yeah, it is really high level. Like, I don't know if it'd be fine keeping it as a Dino or as well as. It's a good Pokemon, it's just, why is it, like, through the entirety of Unova and post-game, you don't even reach that level, like, straight up. Literally. You don't reach that level, why is it so high? Is Hydrogen in Sword and Shield? I don't... Yes, he is. I don't have one, I'm about to go Bro, if you, like, if you wanted a good Dragon Pokemon, just use Axew in Unova. Haxorus is just now. so good. Genova region. 
shiny fracture really hits their feet. Or I wish they kept <coughs> shiny fractures, uh, like, color scheme. What'd they change it to? It's black and red instead of black and blue. I don't know. Oh, I like, like I thought you meant, better. I thought they changed it in the <clears throat> Sword and Shield. I, I, thought it, I didn't know you were talking about Hacks versus, like, the final evolution. I mean, I think Hacks versus Shiny still looks cool, though. It does, it, but it, it looks better I, with blue. I, I prefer it if it were to have uh, the blue tips instead of the red tips. Yeah, yeah I do the like only difference, there. The only difference is that Shiny is just all black. Yeah. Maybe, I maybe if it wasn't only all black, then it'd look, you know, more pleasing to my eyes. Yeah, but that's, that's like my main think... problem with it. That's just all black, which is those tips of red. I'm not going to complain about shiny hacksters just because you can get a free one. <laughs> True, but still. I'll it's complain about uh, uh, the other shinies, though. <laughs> one reason I 100% the Dex Gen 5 just for the hacker. Bold. It's a free shiny. It's like, uh, why not at that point? Yeah. Why and it's like a good Pokemon, too, so it's just... I don't, I don't see the issue if you have it. It's not that it's a bad Pokemon either. It's not, but it's just... The shiny talks Tristy from a uh, one pass that got revealed. Uh, it's now um, a card. You go to GameStop and uh, they give it to you curbside pickup. Nice. Oh, they went back to cards? <laughs> yeah, no, they went back to cards. Uh, they, they tried Pokemon Pass, but Pokemon Pass wasn't working, so they switched back to cards. Yo, hallelujah, Pokemon Pass sucked. <laughs> I don't even know what Pokemon Pass was. Could you inform me really quick? It's a, it's a mobile app that would, uh, you would go to like, so they only did like two events. You would go to like a store like GameStop, Best Buy, you would scan a QR code and then you would get a code so you could get uh, like a shiny Sogaleo, Lunala, or a Mewtwo, depending on what it was for. All right. Cool, cool. Yeah, and now they they're doing a shiny toxicity, which I'm I would expect to be Gigantamax. If you know, it'd be very upsetting if it wasn't. It'd be stupid if it wasn't. From February nineteenth to March nineteenth. I should probably I should probably do that. That'd be kind of cool. All you have to do is go to GameStop. For the one I think the only reason they start doing Pokemon Pass is because of um the year of legendary when they were doing all those events because i remember i would go and uh like one time i went to target to get a uh, one of the uh, like landris or thunderous or one of those guys whatever um and they had a mountain and then i asked them like, can i have one and the dude was like dude like take like 10 no one freaking takes these it's like wasting space and money and shit and i was like oh damn so i i mean i it was good for me because i, I was a I was going there, and I would get, like, five codes, and I would give them away and shit. But, for example, um, I got a ton of cards and codes from uh, the Shiny Zygarde event when that happened as well. Mm. That was, like, the main issue, but yeah. Pokemon Pass was just such a flop that... Still have a Playful card. The Shiny Playful. The shiny boy pull that you've never received. Nope. Big F in the chat. Ended up getting my own shiny boy pull though, so. That counts as all. How did, how did you guys feel about the shiny Zorora event that they did in Sword and Shield? I felt like that was very Tell me funny. why my standard Zero Aura is more rare than the shiny. Yeah. Because I have both. Tell me why my normal version is more rare than the shiny version I own. We don't talk about it. I'm sorry, it's really- It's event? cool- Listen, it was a fun event, it was cool. I think it's just the fact that it's like... If they made the original more like... I don't know, it's just stupid to me that the original is less valuable than the shiny version. I don't know, it just- that's That just doesn't like sit right with me, it's like, why? Do you think they're gonna do it with another mythical? Or possibly legendary. I wouldn't be surprised. They did another similar event with um, Cramorant. Hot. Uh, but oh, I wouldn't shiny. be surprised if they. I don't think it was shiny though. I think it was just normal Cramorant. You could get like items and shit. Uh, 
ready for the Volcano event. I, I'm i not ready for that. Yeah, I, bro. I mean, I'll do it just because it's Volcano, not if it's shiny. Like, I can care less that it's shiny. I, I, I think they're going to do... I have a feeling they'll do something for Zarud. I mean, dada. Give me that I dada have, form. I still have yet to get the dada form, so... Again, I wouldn't be surprised if they did a similar event to the Zero Aura. Especially so since Pokemon Day is coming up, we're going to get something. I wouldn't be surprised if that something is Dada Zarud. And it's like, okay, a million you, of you guys, you got to go uh, kill a couple of them for me. Thanks. Yeah, didn't you say you have like three of them? Who said that? Terrence. What, three Zaruds? Because Dada's like, is sitting in his PC. Yeah, he has a ton of hacked in guys. <laughs> Love to see it. He wonder trades like crazy and gets a ton of hacked guys, and then he throws them away because they're hacked. She well, I hope he throws them away. She'd give it to his cousin, add to his collection. And do throw them away because I don't want hacked Pokemon. This man's a hacker. How many shiny Regieletes I've gotten? I've just thrown them away. Bro, you Ain't can't even. Way. Can't you wait? No, no. Aren't isn't it the Regies oh. aren't shiny locked, but the birds are. Yeah, the yeah. birds are. The birds are shiny locked, but the Regies aren't though, Regis, right? I guess uh, Reggie, no. all all five of them and Regies, all six of them you can uh, shiny lock. Oh, okay. Do you just not trust it? You'd rather get your own. No one's gonna casually trade away a shiny Reggie Lucky though. That's it. Yeah. No sane person is gonna <laughs> casually freaking get rid of that. Yeah, it's 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 a shiny Reggie Lucky, brand new, weird ass looking Reggie that's shiny nonetheless, and you got three of them randomly. Something's fishy about that for sure. Mm -hmm. you never know. They could be a massacre. Have them at champs.com it. OT. Well, uh, so I'm gonna we're gonna wrap up this podcast real quick, but before we do, Pokemon Day is next Saturday. Uh, wow. So before I end this, I just want to ask, basically, what are what do you hope to see the most on Saturday? We always get something on Pokemon Day, so the twenty it's the twenty fifth anniversary. What are we getting? Let me hear it, Chase. What are we getting? Okay. Everyone's gonna be out. Everyone's asking for Mystery Dungeon. They want Explorers of Sky remake. No, I want a new Mystery Dungeon game. I would honestly cry if we got a new Mystery Dungeon game. Just mm. please. As new Mystery Sky Dungeon? Game, okay, okay. So What would you want to see in this new Mystery Dungeon game? Um, well, obviously all put one up to yeah. Gen 8. Uh I don't really see how they can uh, implement uh, Gigantamaxing, so I'd say keep Mega Evolution then. What about Z-Moves? Uh, I, mean, I, just... I guess Z-Moves Z -moves could work too, but if they do find a way to implement uh, uh, Gigantamax Gigantamaxing, god, um, then I mean, I guess go ahead and do it. Uh, what about you, Leandro? What are we getting on Pokemon? I actually really like Z-Moves. Sino remakes release dates. The release date, who? <laughs> when are the release dates, Leandro? Let me hear it. <laughs> Probably something like the last direct, like some point in the summer or possibly next year. Woo, summertime. Woo. So, summertime. He, 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 he come in summer. Cooper, what we get it on Pokemon Day? Um, I'm just hoping Cinema Remakes, honestly. Cinema like, Remakes? Um, Wouldn't be surprised. Same Amber. Terrence, what are we getting on Pokemon Day? About the Gen 5 remake, Citizen O. <laughs> That'd be funny, oh, really, would we? I think of that. Not okay. But, uh, I, what I would care for is a uh, Gen 4 remix, because, you know, then I'd actually be able to play through them and not be bored. Mm. <laughs> Again, I would also like Gen 4 remix, but. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Pokemon Day, right? We're gonna get they're gonna announce Gen 4 remakes, probably maybe Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon Unite, God knows. We're gonna get some news, and then they're gonna hit us with a tease. A nice little tease of Gen 9. 
Nice little tease. Yeah. Nice little tease. I hope. I, I'll be honest, you kind of. That'd be great. I think we're going to get a nice little tease to the next generation. Going to Africa, boys. <laughs> uh, I mean, we probably will. I wouldn't be surprised. Another lion Pokemon who. It's Incineroar. I know he's a tiger. Before you said, I know he's a tiger. I was about to say, like, hold on. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, Pyroar or something. No. The old fighting corner. <laughs> Well, it looks like that is all the time we have today. So thank you so much for joining me, everyone. It was a pleasure having you all on for the Pokemon Podcast. No problem. No problem. It was a lot of fun. I got to use my new mic instead of my laptop mic, so hopefully the audio doesn't sound like complete ass in my part. We can only hope. You know, we can only hope. So, uh, and thank you to the viewers so much for s staying around this long and sitting and watching. Don't forget to share the video, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that shit. And we'll see you next month for... Jojo. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we're Jeez. probably not going to see uh, Chase and Cooper on that one because they ain't too big of fans, yeah. but you're definitely going to hear me, Terrence, and... Leandro probably talk our at or <laughs> talk a bunch about JoJo. So, we're next one we talk about JoJo. Thank you so much for staying around. Talk about Pokemon. Uh, happy Pokemon Day, everyone, and adios. Bye. 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 Bye.